<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here with another Let's Play. I already tried doing this once, but when I got done with the recording, for some reason the, uh, for some reason the picture was like, it was like a postage stamp in the corner of the screen rather than a full thing. So hopefully, I've got that taken care of. I've done just a gameplay thing of a fr the first couple of minutes and it looked normal. So, oh, this is Delta Rune, by the way. Toby Fox made this game. It's got some kind of, it's got the similar aesthetic to Undertale. I'm pretty sure it's not directly connected, but it has familiar characters and all that. I got like an hour or so in the first time I attempted this, and then, uh, yeah. So I know what's going on for about an hour, and then it's, uh, I'll be blind for the rest of it, or it'll be a blind play through the rest of the way. Anyway, we'll go with that one. Select the torso. We'll go with the one that looks like a zip-up hoodie. And the legs really don't look any different to me, so we don't care. This is your body. Do you accept it? If I didn't, I would probably go to the gym or something. Have you, you have created a wonderful form. It's a weird way to put it, but okay. Let us shape its mind as your own. Favorite food? Pain. <laughs> uh, we'll go with sweet. Favorite blood type? AB, the only one with two letters. Red, clearly. It's the best color. Uh, bravery. <laughs> How do you feel about your creation? Love, hope, disgust, fear. This guy kind of scares me. I'm just kidding. We'll go with hope. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the pot. Is that a is that a person with history of epilepsy warning? <laughs> I'm stupid. That was a silly joke. Anyway, yes, I acknowledge the possibility. Understood. Name your vessel. Smithy. We called it Smithy. And what about the creator? Alright, so... I'm not clever enough to know that they were gonna ask that the first time. I just named the character after me. <laughs> because that was what I typically do. But I want to know if it has something to say to me if I name it something else. Excellent. Truly excellent. Answers your wonderful creation don't matter. No one can choose who they are. Your name is Chris. I couldn't remember what they actually what name they actually saddled you with. Uh but anyway, I just wanted to know. Basically, the difference is it's a bit more passive-aggressive about you naming it after yourself, if that's what you choose to do. Like, a lot of people will. Oh, Toriel. Oh, I'm gonna be 
subjected to an uncomfortable amount of doting again, aren't I? If you don't wake up, we will be late for school. Oh, not the lights. I will wait outside, alright? It's a beautiful day outside. Is that right? What should kids like me be doing on days like this? Are the birds singing? The drawer is mostly empty, except for... A very old-school idea with an embarrassing haircut. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. Wait, was that... Was that religious ska or religious comma ska? There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and a knockoff one. Alright. Can I get on the computer? It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it, filled with old books. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Uh huh. Let's go back to sleep. Your bed. I guess it's got nothing. Closed drawer. Fine. I guess I'll bounce out of here. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails that do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Were those on the shelf in Undertale? I don't recall. I think I remember something about there being a joke with snails before. A cactus, there's not much to say about it. Eh, maybe. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long since faded, and there's no green. Oh no. Hey, it's a mirror. It's only you. But that's the best kind of thing. The door is locked. Okay. Ah! What can I do in here? You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza fla- <laughs> Okay. It seems to be almost entirely full. It's because... I don't want to smell like flaming hot pizza? It's a toilet. Flush it. Yes. You flushed the toilet. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo, and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Ah. Alright. Mm. You got any butterscotch and or cinnamon pie in there? It's a photo of- uh, it's a photo of you, your mother. Are we talking like birth mother or Toriel? There is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a weird thing for a trash can to smell like. Let me play with the phone. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's a Cherio. It's Cherio, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. It doesn't seem to be even plugged, even to be plugged in anymore. I guess this chair doesn't have a name. It's a book of hymns. What about a book of hers? Chris, there we are. We might still be able to make it. It is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of the university... Will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? I don't know. Well, this isn't underground. 
Was that Undyne? There's a crossing guard? I didn't notice that the first time I tried to record this. Um, I could, I could, I could see myself in. Thank you. But I wanted to explore. Oh god, she's the teacher. <laughs> Hello, Alphys. Oh, Chris. We thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? What? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Animated schoolwork, and hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Don't worry, Mew Mew, you'll always be my partner. Excuse me? The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images, and rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing and blushing. Ah. You checked the time. It seems to be time for class. Okay. Chris. Ah, oh, very sorry. Did already have partner. Did you just pet me? That was weird. Hey, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy, uh-huh. Now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Oh boy. Partner. I hardly know her. <laughs> oh, that was funny. What do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. I thought it was funny. Chris, you know Jockington and Cacti, or Caddy, are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day, and they... How would you even... You're like... And they ran out of hoops for us, so she used me instead. That's our origin story. <laughs> okay. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Alright, what about you? Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner. Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Oh wait, Chris, now that I think about it. Your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Pfft. Not. I actually want to get an A. Okay, Rivali. So you remind me of. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly. Alright, Birdly. I see. So smart, but he has a name. Such as Birdly. But I could ask Mr. Alphys if we could make it a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. I already talked to everyone else, so... Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort. <laughs> But Chris doesn't have a... Noel, what are you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can, can you please speak up? <laughs> you? <laughs> you are sad? <laughs> okay. Hi, Susie. She's supposed to be like a hippo? Am I late? Oh no, you're fine. We're we're just uh choosing partners for the next group project and um Susie, you're with Chris. Intimidating the teacher. Great. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... You all know I can't start class without some. Maybe you should switch to a whiteboard and use some markers. 
How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Oh, that'll show us.